I remember at one point, you know, there was like going to be a G unit Philly. Yeah. So, so what had happened was fifth had liked it. A lot of artists in Philly. Cause you know, like we was the, like the, um, we was on world star and you know, YouTube was blowing up. So you had a lot of rappers on YouTube rapping and freestyling and being on all the DVDs. So he was like, yo, I want to, I want to do something. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I was like, get artists together, you know what I'm saying? And he's like, yo, start your own thing out there. Yeah, he was like, yo, start your own thing out there. You know what I'm saying? Grab these niggas and, and, and make something happen. And I'm like, all right. Um, and I like took people, I took people to fifth. I took uh, Reed Dowers to 50. I took, uh, shit, Cheat Raw to 50. And um, then I ended up just putting my own thing together where it was like me, Tone Trump, I Vegas, and Cotty. You know what I mean? I had the studio, so I was able to, I was invested into a studio with a, 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 a OG of mine that, that believed in me. You know what I'm saying? So I was able to do whatever I wanted 24 hours. So all we did was rec record music. And um, we did a mixtape. And um, when we did the mixtape, we, we we put some heat together. We just we just was pushing, you know what I'm saying. But eventually, some things fell off. I got booked. Um, but in the process of that, even before that, and after that, I think kind of like the media shit was kind of too much for certain people. You know what I'm saying? Because if you look at G and the G unit always had got some type of backlash, whether it was good or bad. You know what I mean? You got to be really built for this shit to really understand it. You know what I'm saying? And um, I think some people just didn't understand it. You know what I mean? Niggas was younger than them, though. So, you know, being older, I'm pretty sure they understand, like, damn, Knox really was looking out for niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, trying to give niggas a, a, a chance, an opportunity, or whatever. You know what I mean? And, uh, like, even, like, with Tone Trump, like, I used to always be on him because I always looked at him like, yo, bro, you, you getting the right attention, but you going the wrong direction. Why the fuck is you on the internet with two guns sitting on your lap. Do you know they could zero in and get these serial numbers and charge you if these guns come back stolen? And he would think that I'm trying to taint his image, but I'm really just telling you, don't go that way. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at what Boosie going through right now. And I was telling him not to do this shit back then. You know what I'm saying? So, and me and him have conversations, you know, here and there where he like, damn, big homie, damn, bro, you was really being big bro. I really understand now. Like I didn't understand and I felt like you was just trying to stop me from doing what I wanted to do, but you really was trying to show me the way. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's a different thing now. He's doing his thing. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Do you ever go on tour with G-Unit? Yeah. Um, when I came home from my fat bit, I went on tour with 50. We was gone for like, shit, maybe right before COVID. We was gone for probably like two, three months. Every day on the jet for like two, three months, going everywhere. So yeah, I definitely did that. What was that like? Do you have any wild stories from being on tour with it, with Fifty and everybody? It was unbelievable. Put it that way. It was very rich, comfortable. Everything's everything is five star, nothing less. I'm talking about from the towels to the food to the hotels. Nigga, they, I had a hotel room so big, I went back downstairs and gave him the key, thinking they gave me the gave me his room. I thought it was his room. Like, yo, I think y'all gave me the wrong key. And they like, no, that's your room. And I'm like, damn, these, this my room? My room looked like a mansion. Like, literally, like, this shit was crazy. And then it's like, you're doing a show, you're doing an in-store, then you hopping on the jet and you're going to another state. Then you hopping on the jet, going to another state. You hopping on the jet, going to another state. Then you in the car, then you're here, then you're on the jet, then you're on the, this shit was, you hopping off a jet to get on another jet. This shit was crazy. You understand, I'm fresh out the feds and this shit is happening. I'm like, what the f Okay. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Is there any wild times that happen? As far as what? Like uh, any fights or anything on tour? Somebody always get punched on. You know how that shit go. There's always somebody <laughs> that put themselves in a bad space. 
But not, 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 I mean, not really, because we don't be looking for no trouble. We just be trying to do what we got to do and get out of there. We never the ones that start no trouble. And like, niggas don't be wearing lawsuits and all that shit. Nobody got time for that shit. Niggas on grown man time. You know, now you're with G-Unit and everything, man. Mm -hmm. And you'd mentioned the whole game situation, man. I, I think you put out a song, Dissing Game and Young Buck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, at that moment, it was like, whatever they got to do to get on. If we gotta go head up, that's what that's what we gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Did you ever meet Game and Young Buck before yeah, the song Buck. or anything? Yeah, I, yeah, I met Buck before. The Buck came late though. But yeah, I, I yeah, I met Buck. Like Buck was to me, Buck was a cool. Like Buck is I, I, I still don't understand some things, but who am I to speak on it? You know what I'm saying? Like that shit is bigger than me with them, but. Buck was a cool nigga. I used to talk to Buck when I was locked up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Buck used to, like, FaceTime me and all that shit. Like, I mean, I could talk about it now because I ain't in no more. But, you know, before all this other shit started going on with Buck, like, Buck used to pick up the phone. All of them would just pick up the phone for me. Buck, Yay, Fifth, they always picking up the phone for me. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I met, I met them niggas. Now, when you get on, though, but his biggest issue is with Ja Rule. Yeah. Do you ever run into Ja Rule or have any incidents over, over his beef with Ja Rule? No, because you would have heard about it. No. Like, my loyalty a little bit wired different. You know what I'm saying? So, no. No. Mm-mm. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.